Good morning, Zero Trash Laguna volunteers. Thank you so much for having me here today. Um, your coordinators brought me to talk to you today about the uh, debris caused by the devastating earthquake and tsunami that hit Japan just about two years ago. It created 20 to 25 million tons of debris in the ocean. Uh, and they were tracking it by satellite, but about five weeks after the event, it had dispersed so much that they actually couldn't track it by the satellite anymore. So according to NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, um, information on significant marine debris sightings in the North Pacific Ocean and along the coast is greatly needed. Now, Zero Trash Laguna can be of great significance uh, to the scientists over at NOAA. According to Nikolai Maximenko, a research researcher at the University of Hawaii and ocean currents expert, um, about 20 to somewhere between 20 and 100,000 tons of the debris is headed towards the North American West Coast. So while you guys are out there, you might find some debris that you could report to the scientists at NOAA to help them gain more accurate information about this debris, where it's going, what's in it, how fast it's moving. Um, so in this speech today, I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, how to give the right information to the right people. First, I'm going to teach you what kind of inf what kind of items are actually worth reporting. Second, I'm going to teach you what information the scientists need from you. And third, I'm going to teach you where to send your information. So to start, uh, what kind of information, or sorry, what kind of items are you going to be looking for that you want to report? Uh, first, you want to start with anything that has Japanese writings on it. Um, according to Curtis Ebsmeyer, a uh, um, retired oceanographer and co-author of Flotsymetrics and the Floating World, uh, he has received over 400 documented uh, reports that, uh, of sightings of buoys actually marked with Japanese writings. And according to Jason Anderson, a San Francisco uh, beachcomber by passion, he himself has actually seen some of these Japanese buoy, marked buoys himself. So keep an eye out for those items. It's going to include water bottles, trash, furniture, boxes, any, really any kind of item that you see that looks like it has Japanese writings on them. Another thing to look for is going to be hazardous materials. I have brought some pictures today because I know some of you younger ones may never have seen what some of these uh, objects look like. And I want to make sure you're as safe as possible. Uh, when you see these do not touch, all these are going to be hazardous and toxic and it includes oil drums, uh, propane tanks, gas cans, syringes, any kind of um, chemical storage totes. Please don't touch these items, but you still want to report them to the scientists at NOAA. Do take all that information and you want to call your local authorities as soon as possible when you see items like that. Um, another thing that you want to look for is going to be anything of significant size. According to Nancy Wallace, the director of marine debris, uh, the Marine Debris Program at NOAA, um, they have confirmed two clusters already of large items. And uh, one of them was discovered by a Russian ship en route from Honolulu to Russia, and that was a overturned uh, Japanese fishing vessel. And another one was discovered by the U.S. Coast Guard closer to Japan. So they are out there, uh, and they may be coming towards us, so do keep an eye out for those larger items. And again, NOAA does ask that you don't try to remove or move these items yourselves. Don't touch them. Take your reports and call the local authorities as soon as you can. So I've talked to you today already about what items are worth reporting, and now I want to tell you uh, what information the scientists need from you. Really what you want to give the scientists as far as information is going to be as much as possible. Basically anything and everything that you can think of to describe an item that you came across. So if you find a water bottle, you want to write it down, what, it, you know, what does it look like, the colors, location, weight, size, erosion, anything you can think of to describe these items. Um, uh, so you're describing as much as you can. Another great tool 
to use with your reports is going to be photography and video. Uh, and of course, you may come across an item that you don't actually know what it is. It's so distorted from the turbulence in the ocean. Uh, so for that reason, photos do speak louder than words uh, when you can't describe something. So you want to definitely add photos. And videos are going to be a great tool as well to help show the scientists um, like size of something, like portion and that sort of thing. So definitely you want to include as much information as possible, maybe even keep a pen and, pocket, a pen and pencil in your pocket um, and uh, just gather as much information as possible, photos and videos. And again, we do ask that uh, you call 911 for any emergencies, but don't call 911 if it's not an emergency. That's only in emergencies. Remains shouldn't be an issue for the most part, but if you do happen to come across some remains, do call 911 because that is considered an emergency. So now that I've talked to you about what items you're looking for, I've talked to you also about what information the scientists need from you. Now I want to talk to you guys about where to send your information. Um, luckily, NOAA has an email account. So once you have all your information, you've uh, taken your notes on the beach while you're working at Zero Trash Laguna, and um, you've got all your information, you've got your photos, you've got your videos, so now you get home, sit down at your computer, type up a report. You can type it directly onto an email or you know, use your uh, you know, word programs or whatnot. And you want to send it in an email to uh, disasterdebris at noaa.gov. And NOAA is N-O-A-A dot gov. And uh, remember to attach those photos and videos to your uh, emails that you're sending out. Another great way to send your reports to NOAA is going to be through the uh, NOAA Marine Deb Debris Tracker app. Yes. NOAA and the Southeast Atlantic uh, Marine Debris Initiative have actually partnered to create a Marine Debris Tracker app. So cool, right? Um, and it's uh, available for iPhone or Android. So if you have one of those phones, you've got all your tools. You've got your video, ca your camera, your video, your little notes that you can take on your phone. That's a great tool to have. So um, you can just report on the Marine Debris Tracker app. And now, Another way that you can report your information to the scientists at NOAA is going to be through social networks. Uh, NOAA uh, has created two social network uh, pages, one with Facebook and one with Twitter. So uh, with Facebook, I believe it's called NOAA Marine Debris on Facebook. And on Twitter, it's called uh, Marine Debris Tracker for Twitter. So uh, again, that's a, uh, some great places that you can use to report your findings. So guys, today I have talked to you about uh, where to, uh, how to report the correct information to the right people when it comes to the tsunami debris that's heading towards our shores. Uh, first, I talked to you today about uh, the three things, or today I talked to you about the three things that you need to know. Uh, and first I talked to you about what kinds of items, including um, uh, anything with Japanese writings, any hazardous material, and any items of significant size. A second, I talked to you today about what information to send the, uh, to the scientists, and that included as much as possible, anything and everything, photos and videos. And third, I talked to you about where to send your information and that was disaster debris at NOAA.gov and the Marine Debris Tracker app for iPhone or Android and also uh, NOAA Marine Debris on Facebook and Marine Debris Tracker on Twitter. So thank you guys so much for having me here today. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to get out there on the beach and start cleaning up and hopefully from now on you guys can use these great tools and information to help the rest of the, the world with uh, getting more information about the tsunami and send that information out to the scientists at NOAA. Thanks so much, guys. Let's go!